Welcome back to another YouTube video and today we will be discussing improving old content on a pre-existing website. So if we take a look here, this is the Fat Rank website. Now as of September, we've not actually been actively uploading any articles, we've mainly been going back in and re-optimizing a lot of our existing pages. Now what we've found with the rise of ChatGBT and AI, that content production is a lot easier. You can obviously scale out a lot more articles and pages per website. However, the real improvement comes from actually going back in months later and actually improving those articles. So if we take a look at this screenshot here, we were ranking for 20,000 organic keywords with traffic value of just over 8,000 US dollars. So if we were to actually run ads, that's how much roughly we would need to spend on the actual ad spend. Now, as you can see here, as of 29th of December, we are ranking for over 28,000 keywords and we have a traffic value of 13,248. I'm going to be showing you guys how we exactly done this using AI and also ChatGPT. Before we get into this video, make certain to check out cadradash.com where you can book me out for a free 15 minute strategy call and I can go over how you can grow your organic traffic for your website. Now this process can be slightly time consuming, especially if you have a lot of pages, but as you can see from the results, it definitely does pay off. Now the one benefit you do have, especially if you are going up against a lot of AI written websites, is that not many people are going back in and re editing those pages so if you can imagine the best running shoes 12 months ago or the best SEO software tools 12 months ago they're probably not the best SEO software tools or the best running shoes today because things change new products come out from an SEO point of view there's obviously different entities you need to add onto the page there's different secondary keywords as well just by adding these secondary keywords onto the page you will see an improvement so I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how you can do that now now for this I would use a tool called SEO test and you can actually get it 30 days for free However, what this tool allows you to do is set up very granular tests, page by page level. They also do have a complete guide that you can check out. What I will do is I'll have a link to all of this down in the description. But what you can essentially do is you can set up tests at per page based off of keywords and essentially add in any missing entities, missing secondary keywords and also missing queries. So you essentially have a query that you are getting a lot of impressions for on one page, but you don't even have it on the page. So just by actually adding it onto the page, you're in proven the content and you're showing Google what that page is actually about. So I'll be showing you guys how to actually use this software from start to finish. So this is a test that we done on the keyword clustering page on and the start date was September 30th as you can see here and the end date of the test was actually the 27th of October. So we actually ran this test for approximately three to four weeks and as you can see here we saw a 400% clicks per day change. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be setting up a live test that we're going to be running on this website now. So this is the rank and rent page on the fat rank website so I'm going to be actually using this as our test URL so now that we know what which page we're actually going to be running the test on we're going to just paste the URL at the top here and this is obviously the rank and rent page we're going to get hit enter and then what we're going to do is select the actual page that we want to run the test on so we're going to actually look at some facts and figures right now so as you can see here we have got clicks impressions CTR and then average position as well now what we are actually focusing in on is the keyword usage here. So for example, what is rank and rent? We actually don't have that on the page at all. However, we have had 17 clicks through to that page, which is quite a decent, especially because we have 204 impressions. We also have percent, but that can obviously be improved. Now, what I'm actually going to be doing is I will actually include this as a question section on the page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go over to my rank and rent website. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to add that as a question at the bottom of the page. So now that we've identified a missing keyword off the page, what is rank and rent? What we have is two options. We could either write this content ourselves or use ChatGPT. Now, obviously, if any of you guys have been watching my previous videos, what we will be doing is leveraging the power of AI. So I'm going to be using a prompt to answer this in the most direct and SEO optimized way possible. So this is the prompt that I'm using. Can you answer this question? What's rank and rent in the most direct and SEO optimized way possible? Don't include fluff. And the last part of this prompt is I have searched how many characters for a featured snippet on Google and it says around 300 characters. So now that we actually know how many characters are involved in actually winning a snippet, I'm going to actually include that in the prompt as well. So the entire prompt looks like this. Can you answer this question? What is a rank and rent in the most direct and SEO optimized way possible? Don't include fluff. I need the answer no more than 290 characters so I can get a featured snippet. So it's just come back with the answer. Rank and rent is an SEO strategy where you optimize a website to rank high in search engines, then lease or 
sell the site's traffic and leads to businesses looking for online visibility. It monetizes search engine rankings. So that is a perfect answer and I'm just gonna copy and paste that onto my page. So now that we actually have the question and the answer on the actual page, what you then want to do is obviously update that page. Now that is one way of using SEO testing. The second way that you can also use SEO testing as well is you can also use the inbuilt ChatGPT feature. So for example, Rank and Rent course, we have had six clicks for it, 371 impressions. However, we don't actually mention it on the page. Now, what you can do is click this ChatGPT button and it will give you content ideas. So for instance, what you might end up doing is you can get content ideas from this section and you can obviously add that onto your website as well. However, I do personally like to use ChatGPT myself and use my own prompts. However, it's very much down to personal preference. Now that we have included the question, what I will also be doing is adding in a couple keywords as well. So for example, rank and rent with the actual and symbol, we don't actually have it on the page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna include that as well onto the page. So all I am literally doing is I'm just gonna replace one of the rank and rents with just the and symbol. So we actually have that on the page as well. And again, you can do this for as many keywords that you obviously feel is relevant to the page. The more that you can actually get away with, the better. Once you have actually added the questions and also the missing keywords onto the page, what you then want to do is actually set up the test. Now the test is the, probably the most important part because we can actually track the performance of this page. Now what you then want to do is click on SEO tests, click on create a new SEO test and create a single test and then we can essentially name it whatever we want. So all I have done here is I've just named the test name as rank and rent test because it's the rank and rent page that we're testing out. I have said that I have included one missing keyword which was rank and rent and I have included the question what is rank and rent. Now you can obviously highlight these as well. So the actual description is for your own benefit. Obviously the more notes that you have the more likely you're going to remember things when you are looking at this page in two or three weeks time. Then what you want to do is go to filter type and just paste in your URL and everything else you can essentially leave as is. The test period what I'm going to actually do is set this to four weeks because that's going to give us a little bit more time and obviously Google needs to come back and recrawl the page but obviously in four weeks time we will remember exactly what we've done to this page so what is rank and rent we added that as a question and we also added in rank and rent with the and symbol as well so that's how you set up the test and then all you then need to do is press on create so once you've pressed create test you will then be presented by this and this is just the test period so I'm just going to click on save and start test and that has created our first S now you can do this for as many pages as you want you can add in as many questions that are obviously relevant to each page as you want and you can also add in as many missing keywords as you want now one thing that I will also like to highlight as well is if you have a keyword that's getting a lot of impressions the higher up you have those keywords on the actual page the more beneficial it will be so for example rank in a competitive niche or rank a website they're obviously not that relevant so the rank and rent websites query is actually getting 614 pages but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search where it is on the page now as you can see it's fairly low down now just by actually moving this further up on the page it does actually have a little bit more power so in some cases if you have a high search impression keyword you might want to use it further up the page and not lower down because again you're helping theme that page up so that has been my video on improving old content using ChatGPT and AI if you guys do have any questions feel free to drop them down below and if you want to improve your website search traffic or if you want to hire me as an SEO consultant make sure to check out casualdash.com thanks